In a prior video, we talked about how amazing the XLOOKUP function is and how it can replace a lot of the work that we tend to do using offset match or index match. So here I want to go into some of the more advanced functionality that XLOOKUP contains and is enabling us to, to sort of create. And the first thing to discuss is the nested XLOOKUP. So if you look at this data set, which is the data set we used in the prior video, to go through a simple XLOOKUP example, we're gonna use that same data set. We're gonna to try to extract a little bit more data. Recall in the prior video, we looked at you know, grabbing, for example, a first name from a list like this. And so in this case, if we wanna get Alicia's name or anyone's name, we've got a data validation list here that enables you to easily get it a name. So let's keep it simple. We're gonna grab, say, Danny's uh, information. And the XLOOKUP, the simple XLOOKUP, a very simple use of that, that really improves on what else was there before, VLOOKUP, definitely better than VLOOKUP in just about every way. This enables you to grab that name, it enables you to grab the lookup array, in this case, that's the person's first name, you grab the entire array, and then it says, well, what is the value that you want to um, return? And if I want, say, compensation, or let's say I want their hire date, I would go in and I would, let's say, hire date, keep this example consistent. I close it. You know, the other arguments, as I've mentioned before, are not quite necessary yet uh, for most of the problems you're going to solve. And that will give you the return for Danny. All right, so this is the hire date for Danny. And I'm going to control one. I'm going to go in here and just format this nicely so we can see that that is, in fact, uh, Danny's higher date and of course whatever I change for Danny will also change um, the higher date so if I change it to Alicia I'm gonna get October 26 2013 so that's great but one of the things you're gonna end up doing quite a lot is you're going to also then want to be able to dynamically pull from the specific characteristics in the list so what if I don't just want to hardwire the higher date all right, what if the sometimes I wanted to output higher date, but other times I might want to see the department. And so in this case, I have a second drop down menu. And now you have a harder time with just a simple X lookup. This is where the nested X lookup comes in. Just as a reminder, if you were to use offset match, you can do this fairly simply. Let me actually hold off on that. And you'll see that the X lookup way is much easier. So with the two way X lookup, all I have to do, and this is really cool, you take the original lookup value, that's Alicia. I'm going to grab the lookup array just before. And instead of the return array, instead of defining the return array like I did, like I would have otherwise if I had hard coded the higher date. See, I don't want to do that. I'm actually going to bring in a second X lookup function. And I'm going to define that lookup value as the higher date. And then I'm going to then look for the entire lookup array that I want to match it to. And then the return array is going to be all the data. Now I can close this up. I got to close it again because I've got a nested, um, a nested X lookup and I will get the exact result. So this is fairly easy, as powerful as index match match, but now you have to do um, you have to do more work. So here's how you do this with index match or offset match. Let's do offset because we've got it listed here. Offset, I'm going to pick a reference point. This is a, a, a good spot, as you'll see why in a second. I'm going to say, how many rows do I want to go down? Well, I'm going to match the lookup value for Alicia with the position of Alicia's name. I want to go down one row, so I'm going to match it exactly to this array. Then I need to specify exact match zero then the next argument is how many columns do i want to go across just so you see that i'm going to kind of roll back up here um, i want to go in this case higher date so that's going to be one two three i want three columns across now i could just hard code that as i would have before and it would have given me the 1026 but rather than hard coding i do another match which arrives at that dynamically lookup value is going to be the high, higher date i'm going to define the array as this list right here for match. And so it's gonna output an exact match here, which is going to say higher date. Okay, within the array, it's one, two, three, that's position three, and that gets me exactly what I'm looking for. So both will work, both will work for different, um, different sort of selections. And obviously both are equally powerful, 
but hopefully you can see that the benefit of using the two-way lookup is it's just much simpler, far less error prone, much simpler. So hopefully that's a, a nice, simple illustration of how powerful using the nested X lookup is in lieu of offset match or index match.